Hello there, this is a tutorial for the procedural weld tools. If you open a file, this is what you see. You have this sphere with welds on them, like these weld lines. Um, we have a couple of tools here, actually. Uh, if we go into this one, here we have uh, the setup. If we go into drawing on the surface with a curve, we can just draw and then it creates weld lines very easy to do you can see here it also has these welding spots the coloring in the metal underneath here you can see all the parameters here we have the length we can also make them a little bit closer together uh, farther away if you can see here it becomes a little bit rougher set to two looks quite okay uh, you have a randomness in the rotation that you can add more of. You have a random seed, so it changes a little bit the randomness in the rotation. We have a minimal size in the difference of the weld spots. Maximum size could look a little bit different. We have a random seed as well, so it changes the size also. Uh, and we have a offset from the object. So pull it up or pull it a little bit down. If you want to lay it a little bit more into your model, but generally uh, minus zero, zero, 005 looked good on this object, but it's personal, of course. So this is the weld tool. If you want to put it into your uh, own project, you can just append this curve and then uh, or, or the object whatever you want and then it imports all the elements that you need if we go into the geometry nodes here you can see what it looks like it's just a node with all these parameters compressed into one um, and then we have also a intersection weld we can see here all these intersections get a weld seam and there's also some parameters here like you can set your own material if you want we have a weld radius we we'll make that bigger we can see that it's thicker uh, we can here we have smooth we have an isolate weld it isolates only the weld lines here it, it smooths the weld but it's already pretty smooth so you don't see the difference and here we have the bump scale, so we can like scale the welds of the line as well. I set it to one, it becomes really a tiny detail. Set it to 0.2, and get a bit rougher look on it. So it's just uh, a tube weld that lays on the seams of the intersections of these balls. If we go here into the geometry nodes. We can see what happens here we have the intersection node and then with the join geometry we can um, join all these geometries together so we have one icosphere and it's set to smooth uh, as you can see all these transform puts them in another position so if i take this one you can see that it drags it out this then it creates welds by themselves. So this is the uh, spherical one. I also made like different sh shapes so you can see what happens with the cube. Test with some tubes or cylinders actually. And then there's another tool here as well, which is the pipe weld. And here I created some pipe nodes. Here I can set the tube radius, so I set this to 12, you see it gets smaller. Uh, you can set the tube resolution and the tube radius, set this to 0.15, like it gets a tighter radius. And also we can uh, set the resolution of the corner, you can see it gets more geometry here. And then also we plug it in again with the join geometry into the intersection node. 
with all the parameters and then it creates the wells themselves. So this is the uh, weld tools that uh, you can get at Blender Market now and I hope you can use it. Okay, bye.